Aloha and welcome back to another episode of Scenario Design. My name is Tiki C. I am exploring how to design custom weapons for Empyrean Galactic Survival, and I would like to share my journey with you. My goal is to learn about and show you how to design a new weapon. At the end of this video series, we're going to combine everything that we've learned and design something new. So far, we've looked at the different weapon models, we've looked at particle effects and tracers that get shot out of weapons, we've listened to all of the sound effects that we could use, and we learned how to make custom icons. Today we talk about importing new weapons into the game. Are you ready? Here we go. You may have noticed the custom weapons that I use for testing during my conversion videos. Two of my favorites are the Lead Hose, a fully automatic rapid fire shotgun, and the Cleanser, a futuristic laser rifle. I also had three new custom weapons that I'm making for three very important people. Over the past five videos, I've been writing down ideas for these three new weapons based on what we have tested. Now that I have icons ready for them, I'm ready to import them into the game. We have to modify at least two files to start using new weapons in the game. Itemsconfig.ecf, which defines the weapon for the game, and localization.csv, which describes the weapon to the player. There are other files which may need to be updated, such as templates.ecf, if we want the player to be able to construct the weapon, containers.ecf and or lootgroups.ecf, if we want our new weapons to randomly show up in containers, and PDA files and or dialogue files, if we want the weapon to be a quest reward. We will dive into itemsconfig.ecf and localization.csv since that is all we need for testing right now, and then we'll briefly cover the other files. Make sure to back up your files before modifying them. The game will give you a continue or quit error if it doesn't like a change that was made. If you don't want to get stuck in a looping continue or quit error, hit the tilde key and uncheck this box in the console before you load your game. For editing the ECF files, I use Notepad++, and for editing CSV files, I use Visual Studio Code. Links below. Both of them are free. I am not paid to endorse them. Feel free to use whatever tools work for you. In itemsconfig.ecf, you can have over 4,000 items defined. I have carved out a section at the end for testing. I have added my three new weapons to the weapons section, and I'll highlight some of the key entries. Starting on the left and going down, here's our entry for the custom icon that we made, the mesh file or weapon model, the sound effects, the particle effects, and the tracer. We saw examples of all of these in the previous videos. I spent a lot of time going down the rabbit hole on the variables in this file, and I still feel like I'm just scratching the surface. I'm not going to go through each option because we'd be here all day. On top of that, I'm not an expert on this file or each option. I'm just a student, experimenting, learning, and sharing what I know. There are people that are a lot smarter than me who have spent years working with these files, so I will defer to them. If you want to find the experts, they are in the Elyon forums and the Empyrean Discord. I have added the new weapons to localization.csv. You'll notice that these are the same names or identifiers that we used in itemsconfig.ecf. The first part is the name of the weapon with a color code. The second part is the description. The text after the comma is the information that is displayed in game. You can have multiple languages in this file. You just have to translate names and descriptions and add them after each comma. Exploring the ECF files and testing different settings and combinations has made me realize that game balance is both an art and a science. Making a weapon that's not overpowered, yet not too weak. How much damage should it do? What's the best combination of rate of fire, magazine size, and damage? How quickly should the weapon degrade? Should it be repairable? If so, how many times? What would be a realistic mass and volume? What should the market value be? Should the ammo type be unique? How does the damage affect different object types? The more I dug into this, the more I realized that I don't know all the answers. This is a journey. I have nothing but respect for the masters that have spent years working with these settings. I hope to learn more from them 
and by experimenting with different settings myself. I hope this has been helpful for you to learn about designing your own custom weapons. In the final episode, we test all of the new weapon designs by running through the POI that we've been staring at over the past week. How will our new weapons work? How many times will I die? Let's find out. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Have a great day.